sometimes it really bothers people, uh, the book of Joshua, that God tells the Israelites to wipe out anyone living in the promised land. Now, I want you to understand that this is God's judgment. These people had not only rejected God, but they had rejected so many of God's conscience, uh, the, the law written on their hearts. They rejected all that, and they were an evil people. So God said, wipe them out. Well, some people named the Gibeonites who lived in the Promised Land knew all about that, knew that God's people were going to destroy them, and so they tricked the Israelites. They made it look like they came from far away. They came to Joshua and said, hey, we've heard about you, and we would like to make a treaty with you so that you never destroy us. Joshua looked at him and said, well, you're not from around here. God didn't tell us to wipe you out. Sure. And they made a treaty. And then the Israelites found out, you are from around here. You tricked us. You know what they did? Joshua didn't make excuses. He didn't say, ah, oh, you tricked us. We're going to wipe you out now. Joshua said, we're going to keep our word. God kept his word to us, and we want to reflect that, so we're going to keep our word to you. But, step one, Joshua confessed his sin to God. Even when he was tricked, he confessed and said, God, forgive me. I should have double-checked. I should have. Forgive me. Joshua was courageous enough to take responsibility when he was the one tricked. Now let me encourage you to be that courageous as well. Even when you didn't know it was wrong, be courageous enough to confess. And this is how you can be that courageous. The same thing we saw yesterday. God is faithful to you. He forgives you even when you're tricked. You don't have to give excuses. God, forgive me. And God looks at you and says, yes, my child. I died for that sin too. You are forgiven.